was watching the I was watching the the Steam uh the Steam trailer and this game shows like uh in in the adult phase or whatever like uh he changes a lot. He changes a lot. Like he can drastically change d depending on how you treat him in, in this game. So that that excites me because I like playing um what are they called like uh you guys ever heard of like princess maker and stuff like like how, how you raise someone and like they change according to how you like raise them i guess <laughs> and i love childhood friends childhood friends is my my all-time favorite trope the only time i don't like childhood friends is when the childhood friend is possessive but that is hardly ever the case they just care for the best for you and that that is what i like about it so let me turn off the midnight train ost let me turn up the game music can you guys hear me all right hopefully and i will switch over and you guys are gonna see for a second my uh my bad setup here hopefully i can Stealth switch. Okay, I was able to stealth switch. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, you guys can hear it all right. Can you hear me all right? I was I was watching the ghost trick vod and I thought that the ghost trick music was a bit too loud, so I, I turned it down a bit. So let me know if I need to turn it down more or, or, or turn it up. <laughs> ah, the music. Yeah, I've I've been listening to this because. Again, I've been having uh, uh, tech issues getting this to actually get captured. <laughs> so I've been sitting here listening to the music. And, and it's really nice. I like the, the soft waves playing with the gentle music. Oh, by the way, I actually commissioned uh, Nova, uh, one of our friends, uh, to do art of me blushing under a sunset. Uh, for this game to use for like a YouTube thumbnail, because <laughs> I I saw it I saw the the screen for this game. It seems to be focused on like the beach and stuff. So I, I thought that would be cute to get commissioned from Nova. <laughs> Turn down for what? <laughs> the ghost is tricking me. <laughs> no. Okay. The only ghost I'll let trick me is Song. <laughs> Why not a smug Benoi at the beach under the sunset? But it's a romance game. I should be blushing, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess I always am smug. Smug blushing. I, I just made fun of someone. And I'm blushing because I only make fun of people because I like them. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's begin. Let, let's start. Uh, I only got one of the DLCs. Uh, I got the... Phase one, the phase one ex expansion DLC, since I figured that would be all we would be playing today is the, the phase one, which I'm assuming is little lad right here. So let's see, ooh. Ooh, that's a nice little effect. Welcome to our life beginning and always. And this guy, this is my GB patch. Uh, they, they make uh, Otome games I've played one of their games before. I, I forgot what it was called. It was like something something affair. Uh and I remember liking it. Welcome to our life beginning and always. There are various ways you can customize and interact with the game. This tutorial is an overview of how certain features work. Woohoo! You can read the full tutorial from the main menu to learn about everything in detail. To start off, the game is divided into four time periods called Steps. Oh yeah, that's what, what, that's what I got. I got the Step 1 DLC. <clears throat> step 1, Childhood. Step 2, Adolescence. Oh, I'm gonna hate the adolescence part, aren't I? I hate children. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's the gremlin phase. Adolescence is like the gremlin phase. <laughs> Step three, young adulthood. And step four, adulthood. Giant Christmas bun bun. Oh, you can see my, hold on. Whoops, I forgot to get rid of that. 
I didn't know it was covering. I'm so sorry. Let me. Oh. Oops. How do I get rid of you? I'm sorry about that. I didn't. I didn't notice. <laughs> oh. Now you. Now you see my my bad setup here with this game. <laughs> okay. Uh, does everything look all right? No. Sorry about that. Our life is further divided into sets of vignettes that take place during specific periods of time. These are called moments. Yes. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I get. I'm. I'm not used to this setup for playing games. <laughs> moments can be played in any order or skipped entirely. You move on to the next step whenever you want to by selecting that summer is ending. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the DLC like adds a, a couple of those those moments be with it. Well, I want to play all the moments. Steps one through three include five moments each, and even more can be unlocked by purchasing DLC. Some are out now, and other DLCs will release later on. Well, I got one of them, and um, Goldie actually offered to share their Steam library with me because Goldie said that they, they wanted to buy me all of the DLC because uh, they, they've been really wanting me to play uh, Our Life for, for a very long time. <laughs> uh, it adds five more per DLC. Ooh. But yeah, uh, Goldie, Goldie wanted to get me the DLC, but they said that uh, regional price differences were like essentially price gouging. <laughs> So they, they offered their Steam library to me. I, I haven't yet, like, enabled the Steam library share function, so I, I bought the I bought the step one uh, DLC, j just in case, seeing as how far we get in, in this stream, and seeing where that'll take us. But I'll, I'll probably have access to all the DLC soon, uh, once me and Goldie do our library share thing. Let's see. Step four is an epilogue and doesn't include moments. Yeah, I think I is that the is that the wedding thing? I, I heard about there's like a wedding thing. A lot happens over the years that go by, especially in regard to the character you play as. You determine nearly everything about the main character. Ooh, ooh, really? Name, appearance, personality, pronouns, interests, skills, the relationship with major characters, and so on. Oh, you can decide to change the details as time goes on with a few exceptions. Your last name, skin tone, and eye color can't be altered once set. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know this had that much character customization. I thought we just affected the the one boy. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that. It's very customizable. Ooh. Much of the MC's basic traits are determined on a character creation screen. As the MC grows up, more options become available on the screen. Ooh, this is so cool! As mentioned, one of the decisions you'll get to make for your character is selecting a name. You can type in any name you like, and you can pick or you can pick a preset name. Preset options are called voice names because the name will be voiced aloud by the romantic lead. Ooh! You get to hear him say your name as you play through the story. Only the default name, Jamie, is included in the base game. Hundreds more can be added by getting a free voice name extension to DLC. I didn't know that was a thing! It is, is Elio part of the, the list? <laughs> the full collection of names is separated out as a DLC because of how large it is. If you're not interested in that feature, you don't need to get it. How much customization do you want? Yes. I'm like... About to look up like what what names are in the DLC. Hold on, I, I don't want to like tab out of this, but I will look it up on my phone. They have a large amount of names. I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look this up. Hold on, name DLC. Our life. What was this game called? Beginnings and always. Beginnings and always. I, I gotta look this up. I gotta see if I gotta see if Elio is on the list. If it's not on the list, I, I don't care. But if it is on the list, I do care. <laughs> was was song on the list? <laughs> I feel like
next song would be on the list, right? Right? Where's the list of names? Where's the list of names? Oh, do they not? Okay. Gray, Jazz, Katrina, Lydia. Can you give me the full list? Get, show me the E. Show me the E section. Voice name expansion. Over 600 voice names. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, hold on. Hold on. I'm just gonna stealth DL that. Do I have to restart the game? When you get DLC, do you have to restart the game in order to do it? Where is it? I don't see it in the, in the DLC. Wait, do I need to go? Oh, voice, voice name expansion. There we go. Download. Okay. I don't know if I have to restart to get it to play. <laughs> but are any of them swears? I don't I don't think so. Fortunately. But I went with the closest. Oh Ziri. Oh, okay. Let me oh thank you for the hydrate, the firestorm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, if they don't have Elio, I'm sure they have Leo, right? Okay, let me... Let me close and then restart the game. Yeah. Oh, DLC is in the top left corner. Oop. Okay. Well, I restarted the game. Is this still properly... Hold on. Okay. Um, let me... There you go. All right, let me do this a little bit. It's a little small. A little small. We, we bit, we bit little. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay, now we should have the, the voiced DLC. Oh, so you're gonna see a flash for a second. Okay. I just want to be able to read chat while I do this. Oh wait, 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 wait. Is... go away. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, we got the, the voice name expansion DLC. Each name in the DLC belongs to or is selected by someone who supported this project. Oh! On the character creation screen, there's a cute doll you can decorate to get an idea of what your MC looks like with the different traits put together. Ooh. Not all of the things you decide about the MC appear on the doll. The script referencing what you've decided for the MC is the main way those decisions influence the game. Hmm. Our life has a first-person perspective, so your character doesn't appear next to other character sprites. You only see the MC as a decorative doll and in special cut-in CG images. You know what that reminds me of, actually? Uh, have you guys ever played My Candy Love? The cut-in CGs only appear if certain choices are made. It's possible not to see any during the playthrough. Because there, there, there was, like, this online Atome game that you could play. And, like, uh, you could, like, dress up your character. And, uh, they, they wouldn't show, like, with the, the sprites or anything, but you would get, like, CGs and, like, uh, the, the character would change to how you, like, customize the character. Like, there, there were some stuff, like, wigs that you could get through, like, uh, seasonal events that wouldn't show up in the CGs, but I always thought that was cool in games like this and, uh, what was that other game I played? Hustle Cat? Hustle Cat was like that, too. It, it's so much work that they put into that. Like, they really don't need to do that, but it's the nice little bit of customization that really goes a long way. There's also a second type of special MC-based screen, the interest slash comfort screen. Unless you get DLCs, the game has one love interest, Cove Holden. Is Cove gonna hold in me? He grows up with the MC, and the interest slash comfort screen is crucial for determining how that plays out. Ah. Uh. Interest level sets how much you like him. There are four levels. Disinterest, fond, crush, and love. 
Love is only available starting in step three and if you were at fond or crush in step two. Huh. Comfort determines how you generally react slash think when it comes to him. There are three levels, nervous, relaxed, and direct. Oh God, what, what am I gonna choose? Your level of interest and comfort will set the type of dynamic your character has with the love interest. What you did in the past will influence the present, and feelings can change over time. You get to pick your interest less comfort near the beginning of every step. Comfort can switch between the three levels as you please. Your interest level can only stay the same or increase. Huh. You will hold in your heart. Okay, so you can't you can't start off as loving him and then go into contempt for him because he did something that I dislike. Okay, I have to keep that in mind. Your current level of interest will become the new lowest option on the screen in the future. Okay, I'm gonna start with disinterest. <laughs> for example, if you decide to be fond in step one, disinterest will not be available on the screen in steps two and three, which will make fond the bottom level option for your relationship. Interest level has an impact when it comes to physically interacting with Cove. While growing up, things are rather simple. If you get along with one another and have a close relationship, you can choose to touch him. What? <laughs> and Cove will occasionally interact with the MC in lighthearted or comforting ways. But starting in step three, touching become, can become more romantic or suggestive? If you're at crush or love? Sir, this is very complicated and I'm gay. <laughs> oh my god. To make things go nicely with that, there will be an extra choice to determine initiative level and a bonus mini tutorial that goes along with the choice to explain the feature in more detail. I feel like you guys might be learning a bit too much about me with this game. Basically, even if you decide you like Cove, the game won't force you to act on those feelings. I like poking, hugging, kissing, head pats, etc. Oh, I see. You can always choose not to get together with him, choose not to accept or give romantic gestures, etc. If you do decide to date Cove though, you can't break up with him later. Oh shoot, I, it's a commitment. Oh, thank you for the head pads, Zane man. I got some head pads. <laughs> what are you, Cove? <laughs> you are trapped. <laughs> but that's nice that it gives you the option to not, not date him. That's nice. I mean, I want to date him because this is... I, I, I come into this wanting to, to woo and be wooed. Interest slash comfort gets the basics down. But it's the choices that appear throughout the normal game events that decide what actually happens between the MC and Cove. And it isn't only the MC who's impacted by your decisions. Cove grows and changes over the years. How he's treated and what he experienced helps shade who shape who he becomes. How do I make him into an emo boy? In step two and step three, Cove's personality, appearance, and interests will vary based on what happened in the previous step. How do I make him... How do I make him sad boy? <laughs> 15 minutes until new Guilty Gear... er... character. Oh? Let, let me know who gets announced then. It's something of a mystery exactly how your decisions end up changing him. You can try to guess as you go along. Or, if you prefer, you can also just design your own ideal cove directly using the cove cre- What? <laughs> cove creator option. Okay. Making the choices you want is always more important than making a choice because you feel like you have to in order to get a certain result. That's true. Let me just open up the Elio creator. There is none. There is none. Oi. 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 Shinny mode. Shinny mode. Oi. Oi. How dare you. This is not the Elio creator. You can change his personality and appearance if you so desire. Ooh, okay. 
Art is suffering. <laughs> Let's see. When a choice does appear, usually you'll see that hovering the cursor over an option shows a certain color. Yellow, blue, or green. What does that mean? Not so so music starts playing. <laughs> I am now the green boy. How customizable is this boy? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> The colors aren't related to specific points or effects. They're only there to give a bit of insight on the tone slash emotion of the choice, since text alone can potentially be read in more than one way. Oh, okay. That's cool. What is the hog status? What do you mean, hog? Blue tends to be casual, straightforward. Yellow, more emotive, reactive, and green, less certain, uncommitted. Huh. Though there are hundreds of options in our life, and not every choice menu falls in line with that pattern. I want to know how big Cove's hog is, and if we can change it in the Cove creator! <laughs> Dwarf, that's inappropriate! <laughs> pog status. <laughs> is Cove Pog. Picking just one color every time doesn't give a gameplay benefit. Only stick to a certain type if that's what you happen to like. Otherwise, switch between them freely. This isn't cyberpunk. <laughs> I'll remember that when I see you acting up in like an hour. I, th I, I think it'll take me a while to act up because we start off like as babies. I'm not into babies. Always pick yellow, never pick yellow. Pursue romance right from the start, never romance the love interest, be disagreeable or amiable. None of them will lead to a bad ending. Yeah, it's kind of like, it, it seems to be like, kind of like a princess maker game, but like romance and you're not like, there's not an age difference. <laughs> that was always the, the creepy thing about princess makers, cause like, uh, Princess Maker was where you like raise like a, a girl to be like a princess or whatever and you like influence the type of person she becomes like if you want her to be a warrior, an alchemist, a magician type princess or not. But like in, in those games you were like the dad and it was always creepy how there was always an option that you could be a bit more romantic with her. Like some other Princess Maker type games don't do that. Like, Princess Maker is a genre of its own, but I always thought that was a creepy part of the genre. So it's nice that this game is like, you're growing up with him, like you're the same age. Uh, you're welcome to enjoy the events and shape the story without reservation. And then, if you like, you can play again to try something new. There's only ever more good content to discover. We hope you'll have a nice time with our life. Thank you for playing! All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Here's our creator. Okay, let's see. On chubby, pointed, oval, peach, square. I'll just go with the round. Oh, knowing your voice act, the voices in this are chef's kiss, in my opinion. Oh, okay. I am, I am paler. I am pale as fuck. Okay, let's see. Round. Okay. Oh. A rectangle. Let's see. What what do my eyes look like? I wouldn't say they're sharp. Lidded. <laughs> this is me when I'm like this. Oh whoops. What did I do? <laughs> Sloped. Okay, we'll go with we'll go with brown. Where's the pink? Is there a pink option? There we go. Voice name to pick voice name characters call you. Oh, okay. Choppy, curled, flowy, short. Let's see, where's mine? Oh my god. We looking like Kamakura Kamakura, yes, queen. Let's see. I, I, I'll go with this one if I don't see another one that I, I like. Oh my god. <laughs> A bowl cut. Scrappy dabby doo. Ooh, I like that one. I might go with that one actually. That one's cute too. Oh my hair. <laughs> Ooh, that one's nice too. Two-tone? Oh! Oh, that's cool. Ah yes, hairstyle that covers the whole face. Some people like that. 
They like to be the the faceless main character. Okay. Uh I think um hmm. That's cool though that you, you can have two tone here. Okay, what one do, what one do I wanna go with? I go with that one. Yeah, let's have like Chloe short yeah, that looks nice. But let me see, let me see look. Oh, there we go! We got ponytails. Okay, good. I was wondering if we had ponytails. Okay, we got... Oh, that's a bun. I thought there was like a ponytail in the back. Okay, that's another ponytail. Scrappy, pigtails, so we can be Niku. Oh, that would be perfect for like... This, but... Let's see. Let's go with um. Can you change your hair color later, or like your your hairstyle? Or is white? There we go. There we go. Yes. Okay. Cause today I got my hair down, but later I, I might change it. Also, I can get rid of the the shiny mode now. <laughs> okay. All right, that, that looks good. Okay, first, let's go with that voice name. Wait, what? I thought I got the DLC. Jamie. Only when you start a new step though. I thought I got, I thought I got the DLC. Hold on, should I, should I close out and then reopen? Okay, hold on. Let me take a screenshot of this so I can speed run this. Hold on. Oh, I can come back to this. Okay. DLC? Hey. Download me. Oh. Well, I totally downloaded that. Hold on. Okay, Twitch recap. We need to talk. Oh, hold on. Let me exit out and then reopen the game. Okay, let me see. Let me see. I totally downloaded it. Let me see. Where's my Where's my DLC? Didn't I download it? Yeah. Oh wait, no. I didn't. I did not download it. It doesn't show me as downloading it. I I'm a fool. Okay. Okay, let me... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's taking me so long just to start the game. This is just like Monster Hunter yesterday... Or not yesterday, two days ago. <laughs> okay. Download. Yes. Okay. So now do I have the DLC? Well, has been added to your account. Okay, yes. Yes, new DLC. Yes, exit game. Exit game. Okay. Okay, we got, we got, we got the voice DLC now. It should show up. Should show up now. This is not an acceptable way to display and format this. What is this? Oh, God. They're, they're being parasocial! Oh, no! Do they not know that that's supposed to be a ship thing? <laughs> no, Twitch! Why? Does he know? Okay. We, we got it. We got it this time. We got it this time. Okay, let me see. Oh, I gotta I'll move this over a bit more. Hold on, sorry. I gotta adjust this again. Hopefully next time I can figure out a better way to stream this. All right, let me see. 
that. Stretch it out a little bit more. Stretch it out a little bit more. One more. A little more. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Like this. Hold on, hold on. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough to me. You guys can see everything. That's fine. Okay. So if I... Okay. Hold on. May I load this? Ah, okay, I gotta, I gotta redo it again. Okay, but it's got, it's got the voice names, right? Okay, it does. Okay, good. Okay, where's where's my pink? And then this one was like further back here. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. There we go. Oh, they got that too. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There we go, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see, what, what voice lines we got? Eliza, L, Ellie. Where's, where's Leo? There's gotta be like a Leo, right? Linley. Leo. Okay, there's Leo. I guess that's the closest I can get to, to Elio. I could go with Ellie or, or Elio. I would rather... Or, hold on. They have L. Hold on, let me see. L might be fine. Elena, Eliza, Eliza, L. Okay, yeah. They got L. Ellie. I don't like Ellie. Okay, we'll go with we'll go with L, because people call me L. Like E L. Yeah, we'll go with that. L. Well there's Bunny, if nothing else. Wait, there was Bunny. Hold on. I didn't see that. Bunny! Oh my god! Bunny. Okay, yeah. We're going with Bunny. <laughs> Their voice last names? Oh, there's last names too. Okay, wait. Lappy. Lappy. Where's Lappy? La Latita. Perfect. <laughs> What's the closest thing to Lappy? Letty? Lexi? Le Libby? I, gu I guess Libby is the closest. Libby, Lizette, Livia, Lotus, Lucy, Luke, Luna, Lila, Lyric, Lysander, Lysella. Okay, we'll go with Libby. Libby. Oh wait, oh wait, no, oh wait, shoot. I thought, I thought I was choosing the last name. Okay, we're going with Bunny. Bunny. Yes, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Now I'm selecting it. Okay. So it was, what was it? It was Libby? Libby. Oh. Wait, what? Wait. I was confused. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess you don't choose a last name? Or do I just type it? Okay. Bunny Lappy. Okay. Is there Starry? Hold on. I'm curious. Stacy Star? Stel Stella. Okay, they got Star. 
I'll just stick with bunny. I'll just stick with bunny. Think it might be only for the first name for voice. Oh, okay. I wasn't. I wasn't sure. Okay. Bunny. I don't really have. I got like a. I got like a mole on one of my sides, but not on that side. Rosy cheeks. Should I go with rosy cheeks? Hand size. Slender chubby. You can choose hand size! I don't think I'm gonna wear glasses, but I just wanted to look at them. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, how big? My hand is just small, so... No, check how big! <laughs> it could be chubby. Okay. Birthmarks. Um. Oh, there's a CG where it shows the hands. Fuck hands, McMike. Let's see. Birthmarks. I don't really think I have a birthmark. Let me see. I guess. I guess. If I have to choose where he's gonna look. At me, I would rather it be like my arm instead of like my chest or my back or my leg. So I'll go with arm. Wait, do you have to choose these? I don't have any scar. Well, actually, I do have a scar on my arm. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't think you can choose these. I I'm, I'm not gonna choose those. Clothing type. Pants and shirts. Accessory types. Yeah, let's go bracelets, necklaces, watches, hats, the whole the whole nine yards. Oh, it's optional. Okay. I wasn't sure if I if I if that was like a, a plot relevant thing. I'm not gonna go with it. <laughs> I don't want them talking about the scar I got on my hand because I tried petting a cat and it dog gets claws into me and left a scar there by the time I got surgery and kept the scar around my belly button. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, we're all done. My life. Summer in Sunset Bird was a special time of year. Your usually sleepy town began to bustle. It took us almost nearly an hour, but we're finally starting the game. <laughs> it was a popular tourist destination with people coming from all over to enjoy the beach, the weather, and the relaxation that came with both. The smell of the ocean, crisp and salty, hung in the air, bringing three whole months of schoolless vacation with it. During your summer, your moms didn't like you to wander too far outside of your neighborhood, so you knew the area pretty well. My moms? That included the people. Families came and went from Sunset Bird, but they mostly stayed and did what your mom called putting down roots. They built businesses, they got to know each other, and they definitely said hello to the nice young kids who waved when passing their stores. Going for a walk around town mostly meant that the familiar, friendly residents waved or asked how your family was, or most often just said hello. Your mom's eye! That's cool! You didn't really get why they always had to say hi. They saw you every day, but you know... Oh. Should I channel my, my actual childhood self? Cause, Cause this is my life, right? <laughs> Ended up saying hi to a lot of different people since most tourists that came and went every summer were the same ones. You're too anxious to say hi back. They all know you well enough to respect that. Okay, so when I was a kid, I was a brat. <laughs> I I was kinda I was kinda popular at my my school. <laughs> uh because my mom worked there. My mom my mom worked at the school and stuff, so like all the kids knew me. And I would get I would actually get annoyed <laughs> when I would be walking around on the playground and people would be like, oh hey you Leo! I'd be like why do they always say hi to me? Leave me alone. <laughs> like, that was the type of person 
I would be like, like someone would be like, hi, Elio. And I'd be like, hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Elio. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, I'm gonna go. You didn't really get why they always had to say hi. They saw you every day, but you nodded back at them anyway. Emo boy Elio. <laughs> I was a gremlin. It was the polite thing to do after all, and your mom's taught you to always be respectful. But today, there was a man sitting on the curb outside your house. He was sitting with his head in his hands, his whole body slumped over. And you wondered if he was even a real person, or a statue that had magically sprung up from the ground overnight. Hey, hey, it's Colonel Sanders! Whoever, or whatever he was, you'd never seen him before. One thing about knowing everyone in Sunset Bird was that people who you didn't recognize really, really stood out. It was rare for tourists to venture into the residential district, as your moms call it. My moms! So for you, not knowing who a total stranger was set off a lot of red flags. Your moms had a talk with you and your big sister, Lizzie, about this kind of situation before. Bunny and Lizzie. I hadn't exactly been listening at the time. You think it could be okay to talk to new people, and so it starts. This game, oh, are you a fan of this game, Kippies? Seems like a, a lot of people really like this game. I mentioned some people aren't good to talk to, but other types of people can help you even if you don't know them. You remember that's okay to run away if you feel uncomfortable. You don't have to worry about being polite then. Yeah, okay, I was kind of a- I was a paranoid- I- I still am kind of paranoid, kid. Um, I always get paranoid when I see random people because I'm like, Oh, are you gonna kidnap me? <laughs> so, <laughs> you weren't sure about this man yet. Oh, you never played. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes! Oh no, it's the biscuit. <laughs> Kippy's brisket. <laughs> okay, you felt a bit scared knowing he was blocking the way to your front door. You wanted to know more about what was going on. Whether he was nice or not, you didn't want to be bothered. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. I feel like that would be what I would think. I'd be like, why is this guy in front of my door? Is he gonna like kidnap me? You slow it down, your mind racing for ideas on how to get past him unseen but it was too late to escape. There was a split second where your eyes met and you took in a shaky breath, your eyes starting to the sky, pretending to stare at a bird who was hovering nearby. Elio, are you saying Kippy's to do a brisket cosplay? <laughs> Maybe? I just hope you're not saving every choice. Wait, wait what is a brisket? Oh, they're, they're talking about uh, Bridget from Guilty Gear. <laughs> we call her Brisket. <laughs> hey! His voice startling you and made you jump, but still, you didn't look at him. I'm guessing saves... I, I probably won't save this game, since what we do influences the game and how we behave. So I wanna, I wanna see what a purely me Answer game will go. <laughs> I'll probably wind up being an incel. You won't save the game, so once it oh no, I'll, I'll I'll save when I when I stop streaming this game, but only that. His voice startled you and made you jump, but still you didn't look at him. The bird landed on top of a nearby gatepost, and its black feathers ruffled against the gentle breeze. Trying to keep your eyes on it was tough. Especially when the man stood up and started to make his way towards you. Not wanting to seem too approachable, you folded your arms and stared, still unsure about him, but willing to be friendly. <laughs> you offered the stranger a smile, your whole body was frozen in places you preferred. I would probably fold my arms. So... Uh huh! Do you live around here? What's your name? I ain't telling you! You looked the man up and down, taking in his tan skin and relaxed appearance. At least his clothes were relaxed. The way he was acting wasn't. Yeah, who is this? I like I like this shark pants. <laughs> and he's got like a, a manta ray tattoo. Maybe he's not so bad. 
He had sharks on his shorts and a stingray tattoo. And he wondered if he was obsessed with the ocean or something. When you made your assessment, he looked at you expectantly, waiting for an answer to his question. Shark pants didn't realize until you pointed it out. Yeah, he's shark boy. Where's lava girl? Uh, uh, I would be very awkward <laughs> if that was the first thing someone said to me. If you accidentally skip a dialogue or change your choice, you can use the scroll reel on your mouse to go back and forward. Oh, okay. Thank you, song. Um, right here. My name is Bunny. Yeah, I live here. Continue to say nothing. Um. I don't want... See, I'm the type of person that if I don't know this person and I don't know their, like, intentions in asking me, I don't want to tell them where I live, you know? If you do... He rubbed the back of his neck uncomfortably, giving you a small smile. Yeah, I would probably not say anything myself. Yeah, like, I don't know this dude. You gonna, you gonna like stake out my house so you can commit burglary or, or kidnap me? I'm just a, I'm just a small s child. He reached into his pocket and pulled out a clean $20 bill. It crinkled in his hand as he held it up to you. Okay, I live here. Even more confused than before, you looked back at him. I mean, knowing me, I'd give the vibe of not knowing English. <laughs> Could you do me a favor? <laughs> Nothing bad. Sorry, I should have... Let me start over. <laughs> you are not making yourself look any better. <laughs> do you live here, kid? Doesn't say anything. Take out money. Can you do me a favor? You're, you're not looking so hot right now, buddy. He cleared his throat and stood up straighter. And when you were standing, it just made him look creepier. <laughs> I have a son. His name is Cove, who's about your age. Cove, that seemed like a strange name for an actual living person to you. <laughs> you chewed on the inside of your cheek. This guy was definitely obsessed with water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Cove, yeah, he's obsessed with the ocean. <laughs> it's happened before, and people are like trying to explain their words like I don't understand, and really I just don't know how to react. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. He wasn't the only person like that in Sunset Boulevard. I mean, not the stranger in front of the house part. Yeah, I would hope not. I would hope not. We moved in across the street, see? He gestured towards the house that had been empty for a year. His watch catching the late afternoon sunlight and reflecting off the walls. Is he gonna pay me to be friends with his son? The gigantic for sale sign was finally gone. It must be Bunny Lappy, right? I mean, I met your moms earlier and they told me you were eight, just like him, so... He shook the $20 bill to bring it back to your attention. A hopeful smile tilting his lips at the corners. He wants... <laughs> he's bribing me to be friends with his son? Can you try to be friends with the boy? Sure, anything for $20. <laughs> Wait, we're eight? Yeah, we're eight. Yes. When well, God's name is your problem, dude. He's paying us to get along with his son. <laughs> Why are you bunny? Because there was like a... It, there's like voiced options in the game, but it's like only a certain amount of names. And, and bunny was one of the options. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with L or bunny, but I wound up going with bunny. Just give it a chance and you can keep this. He's a good kid. You'll like him. If I if I don't like him, will you give me twenty dollars again? <laughs> Do you mind? But you gotta keep it a secret too, okay? It wouldn't be friendly to say his dad sent you. Wait, it was game provided. Yeah, uh, it it gives you some like voice acted names to choose from. That's pretty cool. I kind of felt sorry for Cove. Did other kids really get their parents to pay for friendships? <laughs> yeah, I would probably think that. Be like, is this why so many people were talking to me as a kid? Because my mom paid them? I, I think I would feel sorry for Cove, though. 
This definitely wasn't the normal way kids made friends. You knew that. What do you say? Wanna make a deal? Of course I'm taking the bill! You carefully plucked the bill from his outstretched hand, grinning at the thoughts of what you could do with that much cash. I could get two comic books with this money. I thought about everything in comic books when I was a kid. If you gave me $10, I would be like, oh yay, I can buy a comic book with that. If you gave me $100 for Christmas, I would be like, yay, I can buy 10 comic books. All the sweet, where, where's the comic books? Where's the comic books? Where's the comic book option? I guess I'd go with sweets, maybe? All the sweets you could have. Maybe a ticket to no. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a movie watcher. Where's the video game option? I guess sweets. I guess sweets. Your tummy rumbled thinking about it. Oh, don't make my tummy rumble. <laughs> I felt like the beginning having there are no bad endings was probably to prevent you from refunding the game the moment you had this interaction. <laughs> And that was just a start, you thought. The sky was the limit with that kind of amount. Yeah, think of all the comic books you could buy. The man smiled at you, his eyes crinkling at the sides as he did. Great, that's great. I'll bring him by tomorrow. I wanted him to meet and greet with the neighbors today, but... <laughs> well, I don't know where he's gotten off to. You don't know where your child is! <laughs> where are your parents? <laughs> I'm not sure if I wanted to play this game or not, so I stuck around just for a bit. Me? Yeah, why don't you know where your son is? He laughed when he said that, but with the way his face looked, you thought he actually wanted to cry. Find your son first! Don't don't bribe people for, for favors to be friends with your son if he got kidnapped. <laughs> maybe he's with the mom? Oh, maybe. Anything about that? Yes. Oh, is he like... Oh, like, one weekday, he's like with his mom, and the weekend he's with the dad or something like that? Like a divorce? If, if you see him, you tell him to come on home. <laughs> you're, you're pretty relaxed for that, huh? He's got a pink cast and glasses, you can't miss it. Why's he got a pink gla- pink cast? He hurt himself? I keep this either way. <laughs> I, I wouldn't actually say that, but I would think that. Let's see, sure thing? I can try. I don't like saying sure thing. I don't like saying sure thing. I like, uh, I'll, I'll do, I can try, I'll do my best. You nodded, not totally certain that you'd find Cove, but willing to look. Do it. <laughs> Oh no, he's a fucking nerd. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the man smiled and reached out to pat you on the head. Paused before doing so, then pulled his hand away and said, "Yeah, you don't, you don't know me. You can't pat my head, sir." Moms are already checking around for me. Such a thoughtful group you are. Oh, so he's actually missing. He's actually missing. <laughs> You weren't gonna say that, can I keep this? It would be- It'd be something I would think, but not something I'd say out loud. What in the fuck? I better go look too. Can't put everyone else to work while I keep sitting here. Yeah, you're his- You're his dad! Start acting like one. <sighs> I thought he might come back and... That's not what's important. I have to go. This guy is 100% on the registry. He's on the registry for inattentive parents. Thanks again, Bunny. So much. He jogged off down the street without another word. This is a big excuse just to get the protag to find the guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Cove. What kind of dad you got? He decided to check the hills behind your house. Step one, first sight. <laughs> a fun one. <laughs> a fun one that lets his child go missing. 
and pays people to be friends with him. The chirping of crickets in the tall grass greeted you, quiet and familiar. From the top of the hill, you could see the ocean. As you walked, you listened to the crash of the waves on the shore and the seagulls squawking as they settled down for the night. Like, okay, I'm not trying to be negative, but I am baffled. Like, the 15-page tutorial what was trying to convince you it's a good game into just an incredibly strange scene. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they could have handled the introduction to Cove a bit better. Not having the, the creepy dad scene. Just have him coming to the house with Cove and being like, Hi, we just moved here. How are you? I always loved the ocean. It was so much fun. You love to hear stuff near folk and sea serpents. Didn't enjoy the beach much at all. Okay, yeah. I, I was really into, like, mermaids and stuff, so. Sometimes you could almost convince yourself you had seen the flash of a shiny mermaid's tail in the distance. You took in a deep breath. You wanted to try to relax and couldn't. You weren't sure what, but something told you that you weren't alone, so you glanced around. Who, who is letting these children be unattended at this time of night? There was a boy sitting on the top of one hill, almost completely hidden within the long grass and white flowers surrounding them. I was talking shit on, on, on Cove's dad, but... <laughs> His head was buried in his knees, staring ahead by himself. Hey buddy, we need to have a buddy system up in here. For whatever reason, probably just thought he wasn't paying attention. He hadn't noticed you yet. You watched him a minute longer, feeling a little bit like you'd found a deer in the wild. Though a deer didn't have... Green hair. <laughs> green hair. That's the biggest... That's the biggest point of interest for him. <laughs> but this new boy did. You'll know sooner or later, lol. <laughs> he watched as it fluttered softly around his face in the breeze. After a few more seconds, you took a step forward, then another. And then he glanced your way. His aquamarine eyes reflected the light of the moon. You stopped, raising a hand to acknowledge him and show you weren't scary. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I would say. I guess I'd say hi. That's kind of basic, but I don't know. I don't like assuming things of people. And calling him a space cadet, no. I'm the space cadet. At the start, he jumped to his feet. His hands balling into fists at his side. Oh, am I going to get in a fist fight with him? He didn't say anything, just stared at you in a strange way. Oh, he's cute! He'd been crying. There were traces of tears on his cheek and his knees. Soaking the hem of his shorts and his eyes were still shining with a few more. You obviously caught him off guard. His pink cast seemed to glow in the twilight, though when he caught you staring at it, he hid his arm behind his back. You like, heard it? Seeing the man earlier had said stuck out to you. Cove? Uh. Eyes wide, he studied you. How'd you know that? You touched the money in your pocket, feeling it crinkle beneath your fingertips. I just got bribed by your dad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I met your dad. I'm all knowing. Lucky guess. I met your dad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that stuff. So, is this your hill? Yes, I, I own this hill. These lands are mine. I own the entire property here. He gestured with his uninjured arm to the patch of grass surrounding you, his face falling at the prospect. I can leave if it is. You can't own a hill. <laughs> Why not? How could you? You just do. I had a hill back home. Oh, territory. <laughs> These kids. Well, this still isn't mine. Oh. He sat back down with a thump, resting his chin on his knees again. This is my hill, then. Get out of here, peasant. 
curious about the strange new boy with the odd dad. You sat on the patch of grass next to him. Odd is not even the start to describe his dad. The pure white flowers that covered this hill rocked back and forth gently as the stars twinkled above. The way they dotted the sky made them seem like flowers too. The next wind was cool as it traveled over the ocean and up the hill, chasing away the heat of the afternoon sun. Sorry, I'm just checking. Okay. Sorry, I, I got like a text from my, my, my cousin when I was reading it. So, even? <laughs> Boy, I <laughs> did. Uh, uh, why are you here? I, I don't want to talk about his family because I don't really know what his situation with his family is. I assume since he's crying here, something might have happened. I don't, I don't know. A quiet hiccup escaped Cove as soon as you asked the question. Almost like they'd never stopped. His tears started up again with a vengeance. Oh, jeez. Get this crying toddler out of here. <laughs> kidding. My parents. They don't want to live together with me anymore. Oh, so I was right. They got a divorce. The tears fell fast and heavy over his flushed cheeks, sticking in his dark lashes. My mom made my dad leave and he took me with him. And now we have a house here and I want to go home. The outburst took you off guard. By the time he was done wailing, Cove's chest was heaving with exhaustion. He sniffed and removed his glasses, wiping at his eyes with the back of his hand before he put them back on again. I hate this place. I want my real life back. I want my mom. Uh, your dad seems kind of nice. No. You like it here, you just have to get used to it. I don't, I don't, I don't like any of these options. I don't like any of these options. Stop crying, no. I'm sorry. I, I think I would go with that. I'm sorry. Remember in P3 when you could tell the literal baby child that it was her fault? Her parents got divorced. Well, it was simply your fault, Cove. God. You unlocked the hey Cove's guts <laughs> personality trait. You unlocked the asshole trait, Bunny. I hope you're happy. He slipped his hands underneath his glasses and pressed his fingers against his eyelids. Cove wound himself up again for another long crying fit. He felt bad for him, being forced to come here with no choice. He couldn't imagine what it would feel like to live with only one of your moms, but it must be pretty hard. But from way off in the distance, you heard your parents. Bunny! Cove? Kids, where did you go? Cove looked at you, tears still clinging to his chest, to his cheeks. Don't tell them we're here! I don't want to go home. I don't want to go back to that house. I want to go home. Uh, 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 I don't know what to say. Probably like you have to go. I don't know. It would be okay. I, I don't like saying stuff like that. Okay, you have to go, I guess. Forced to be a snitch. <laughs> Even if it isn't fair, he's your dad. You stood up, dusting your pants off. If he says you gotta go home, you gotta. I mean, you're eight. True. You're internalizing too many thoughts. <laughs> Sorry. Slowly, Cove stood up with you, still looking a little reluctant. His dad's voice rang out again. Cove, can you hear me? He looked towards the sound of his dad's voice, silent, then turned away while rubbing his not bandaged arm. Sorry. I still don't want to go. Uh, uh, ah, shit. How the? I don't want to be a snitch. Okay. Should I 
to convince him? I would probably do that. Are you sure? You'd have to stay outside the whole night and sleep on wet grass. Before Cove could say anything else, you heard his dad's voice again, even closer than before. There you are, bud! The trio of parents appeared over the curve of the hill. Instantly, all their eyes landed on you, and they rushed over. <gasps> Those are my mom's! Oh, pretty! Oh, they're so pretty! Oh, look at them! Oh. Both of your moms were at your side in a split second. Faces filled with mom, w with worry. Oh, sorry. My, my, my internal thoughts just slipped out. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. They do look nice. They are. Ooh. Bunny, you're here after all. We've been looking at the park to check for Cove and then heard what happened earlier when you met the new neighbor. I thought you might have gone off further away. Mommy. Hey, look, it's been about an hour, and you're being inappropriate. Right on fucking cue. Hey! <laughs> um... Cove didn't want to go home just yet. I don't... That's kind of snitching. Okay, don't worry. We're just sitting in the grass, yeah. Thank God you're both fine. Were you two having fun out here? He looked over at Cove, who was wiggling against his dad's tight hug and pushing at his arms. <laughs> I think I'm gonna marry him! No! I shrug. I probably wouldn't have an opinion of, of this dude just yet, if this was me IRL. He's new here. It was okay. One is mom and the other is mommy in the nameplates. Love that. <laughs> so this one, I think this one is mommy and this one's mom. Finally letting go of his squirming, scowling son, Cove's dad turned to the three of you. That's a relief. Thanks very much for finding him. I really don't know this neighborhood. Good thing Bunny knows this whole area so well. Oh, good thing Bunny knows this whole area so well. Absolutely. We should be getting home now. It's been a whole day for us all. Say goodbye, Cove. Bye. The two of them walked off into the darkness, heading towards the neighborhood. You watched Cove's bright pink cast until it disappeared because he ran off at mock speed. <laughs> Look at him being all grumpy, lol. <laughs> hmm, tell you what, we'll have a proper play date tomorrow, okay? Your new friend's dad just wanted to bring him by to see you and Lizzie. How does that sound? Sure, can I show him my stuff? Sounds like words. <laughs> you nodded, ducking your head down. Probably would do that. Can I play it? Can I play Legend of Zelda with him? Both of your moms laughed. The sounds overlapping into a warm, familiar chorus seat. When, when I was a kid, y you had to show me your interests first for me to have an interest in you. I, I just meet a kid, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna be friends with you. Do you like Pokemon? That's important. If you don't like Pokemon, then we can't be friends. Do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? If you're not gonna play Yu-Gi-Oh with me, then get out of here. Mommy put her arm around your shoulder and led you towards the path. Are you gonna tell on the teachers for me sneaking in my card captor Sakura wand into my backpack so that I can pretend that I'm a card captor? Well, fuck you! Satisfied, and more than a little ready to go to bed after your long, exciting day, you followed them home. That was actually something I did, by the way. I had a replica of Sakura's wand when I was a kid, and I, I snuck it in my backpack. I also had the cloud book with the cloud cards, and like, I, I LARPed when I was a kid. <laughs> I LARPed Kingdom Hearts, I LARPed Cardcaptor Sakura, I, I LARPed Sailor Moon, and I would play with my friends and would be like, okay, I'm Sora, you're, you're, you're Kairi, you're, you're Gahar. <laughs> that was how I played as a kid. 
Satisfied and more than a little ready to go to bed after your long, exciting day, you followed them home. That's all your standards, I see. Yeah, if you're, if you're not gonna play video games with me, then are we even friends? Choose your feelings for Cove. Okay. Comfort. Uh, my feelings for Cove. So, like... What do they mean by direct, relaxed, and nervous? Like, how he is to me? Like, he's nervous towards me? Or is this how I feel about, about him? Cause like, I, I, I don't want to be a direct, I'm not a direct person, but I want people to be direct towards me. If that makes sense. How you treat him, okay. Uh... I'm being nervous. <laughs> I, I am never direct or relaxed. Indifferent. <laughs> I don't know this dude. I don't know this dude yet. How, how would you develop a crush from that interaction? Don't be able to change it until step two. Hold on. You have exchanged ten words. Ah, yes. I'm, I'm ready to, to marry this man. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're going with nervous indifference. Puppy love. Childish indifference. <laughs> I could do relaxed, but I was not a relaxed kid. <laughs> Early the next morning you were poking at your food, eating slowly. Your sister Lizzie had run out earlier to go play, but you'd stayed put. Today, just like your mom's had promised, Cove is coming over to hang out. Excited to see your new friend again, Bunny? Um, I guess. Okay. With that said, are you done with your breakfast? <laughs> I don't know, am I? <laughs> you gesture down to the empty dish in front of you, raising your eyebrows dramatically. <laughs> Okay, we see. Yo, mommy is mommy as fuck. <laughs> Good job. He should be here soon. Clean up began and then, on cue, there was a knock. It was hesitant, like the person wasn't sure they were in the right place. Still loud, though. We need to get a more obvious doorbell. I know, I know. Bunny, could you get it? Because mom said so, you wandered over to the door. Hey, Lappy family! Thanks for having us! Mr. Holden, as your moms have called him, and his son were here. Oh, cause, yeah, cause his last name's Holden. Cove looked different in the bright lighting of your living room, and when he wasn't crying. <laughs> With his dad standing in front of him, and mom and mommy behind you, you and Cove looked at each other. He studied Cove apathetically. This was the parents' plan, not yours. Not seeming any more excited than you were, he just stared back. <laughs> twisted the threaded bracelet on the wrist, you twisted crystal bead, flower bead, shell bracelet. Aw, oh, what, what? What is a threaded bracelet? Like, like the little, the little ropes? Little rope bracelet? Probably crystal beads. Is it crystal or shell bracelet? But I don't think I ever had a shell bracelet. Do you want to go play in your room, Bunny? Crush after the first interaction makes me think you can be a fucked up yandere. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I, I'm like the possessive friend. That controls his every life. Sure. So, my room is this way. Okay. okay. Let us know if you need anything, you two. Alright, Cove, you can come to my room, but you better be able to hang in blood cold <laughs> Have fun, kids. See you. See you later, son. Play nice. You got... You, you played Nintendo. You led into your room, puffing out your chest a little bit at the sight of your treasures. There were lots of stuffed animals, a cool bed, a window to look out. Where's my Nintendo 64? It was a great room. You hadn't had anyone to show it to in a while, but you were really proud of it. 
You leaned in a little bit closer to one of your drawings on the wall. Oh, I'm a drawer. Yeah, yeah. You want to see my Kingdom Hearts comics that I make, where where Sonic rocks it. Not Sonic. Where Sora, where Sora, Roxas, and Riku all have a crush on me. <laughs> you leaned in a little closer to one of your drawings on the wall. I like this. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to find IRL friends with similar interests. I don't know. That see, I only have like two friends. <laughs> We're Sonic. What? <laughs> I, I messed up. Okay. <laughs> I drew that. <laughs> cool. You smiled at him. You're proud of that particular piece of art, and you're glad he noticed it. It was art of me being surrounded with, with with Sora holding my hair, Riku kissing my hand, and Roxas with his arms around my neck. It was all terribly drawn because I didn't know how to draw anime. You turned to look around the room a little more, studying the books on your desk and the pictures on the walls. Well, that's my Gordon Logon copy. It's a good thing my moms don't check the ratings on the comics. You hope he liked your room. Yeah, that that's that's what I want. I want people to come in my room, see my dot hack posters, and be like, hell yeah. I had like a bunch of anime posters in my room when I was a kid. I had like a solid wall just full of like I had like Death Note, Dot Hack, uh, D Gray Man posters all over my room. Car captors, chobits, all of that. He had put a lot of effort into making your room as nice as it was. He hoped he didn't say anything bad about it. Yeah, if you say anything bad about my room, I'm punching you. Then his eyes landed on the tiny box of beach things you'd collected, tucked away by your door. Oh, those, those aren't my tiny box of beach things. Those are my my magical items. See, see this rock? That's a unicorn's tear. Because you see, the reason I, I I don't have a dad is because I have a dad in a magical dimension. See? And when I turn 18, I'll go to the magical dimension. And my dad is like the king of the magical army. And my, my favorite fictional character, Kite from Dot Hack, you see that poster on top of my on top of my ceiling, by the way. Uh when I turn 18, I'll go to the magical realm and I'll marry him because he exists in that world. <laughs> he took a step towards it before hesitating and pointing at it instead. What's that? Oh, it is stuff I found on the beach. Oh. You have any driftwood in there? Why would I? Dragging the box into the middle of the room, you and Ko flop down next to it. Yeah! You gestured to a piece at the bottom, still covered with specks of sand. Neat. That's a good collection. You got the sense from the tone of his voice that he wasn't just saying it to be nice, or to be like Shiloh. He actually meant it. Who's Shiloh? Ah, Shiloh is coming over! Shiloh? My sister's friend. He wants to, um, meet you. Hmm. Do I have to see him? It'll be okay, I think. <laughs> you don't. Hey! The dog? Here, I found the shell in the log and. Oh, hi there, Jackie! Hello, hello! It pulled out seashell after seashell, explaining what you'd got in each one and holding them up against the light. There were big ones, small ones, pink, purple, and orange. I mean, it wouldn't actually be purple, technically. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Most of them you washed off in the bathroom sink when you brought them home, cleaning off the sand. Over the past few years, you'd even learned some of their scientific names. The collection was huge and varied, that you had lots of funny stories to tell for all of them. Your voice faltered a little bit. You kept going as best as you could. I would not remember their scientific names. The only thing I remember when I was a child was the order of the planets in the solar system, and that's it. Huh. Probably funny stories. Apparently fascinated, either by the stories or by the shells themselves, Cove listened with what looked like the full force of his attention. Like, 
when you almost got pinched by a hermit crab while searching for shells, and after watching him scuttle back into the ocean, you found another empty shell that was almost a twin to his home. Oh, I'm back. Welcome back. Hello, I have work, so I'll probably be lurking most of the time. I hope you have a good day today. Oh, good, good luck at your job, Jackie. Hope things go smooth. Do we know Cove's dad name? Nope. We just know his last name right now. It was a new experience to be the center of such dedicated focus. Even if it was only directed at the shells. Kids, come down to the living room. You could tell the idea was making him unhappy. <laughs> but mommy wasn't giving you much of a chance to hang around. Cove hadn't been like this meeting you. You guessed it was because he thinks you found each other by accident, not that a parent made it happen. Ah. Mr. Holden must be right that telling Cove his dad was part of that would be a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, your, your dad bribed me. <laughs> Last name is good. Imagine calling him Mr. Cove. <laughs> Mr. Cove's dad. Before you knew it, you'd both been escorted downstairs and deposited in the living room, ready for Shiloh's visit. The two of you sat side by side on the floor of your home's entryway. I brought the box of cells. I want to keep looking at them. Oh, he likes the ocean too. You should have asked, no. Great! Bust it open. We can keep looking while we wait for Shiloh. Cove reached in and pulled out a big orange shell. Mr. Holden is a person. <laughs> he sure is. Oh. Like he hadn't spoken aloud yet, he turned to you and held it up, his eyes shining. I think this one is the best of them. I like a different one best. I can show it to you. I don't like orange. You reached into the box and took out the one you preferred. Cove looked on with interest. The two of you were still sitting on the floor, looking through your collection of beach findings, when the doorbell finally rang. Cove jumped, startled by the sound. Since the person hadn't knocked, you figured it was probably Shiloh. He knew where to look for that. Lizzie's friend? You nodded, but that didn't seem to make Cove feel better. Why does Cove sound closer to a gremlin? Because I'm, I'm giving him my gremlin voice. <laughs> It was already obvious that Cove didn't hide his feelings well. You could tell what he was thinking right away. This isn't a good idea. I'm sorry, there's nowhere to go. He's at our only door, and if you go upstairs, he'll find you. Cove glanced around the room, his eyes wide, and finally paused with his gaze locked on the back of the house. I can go out the window. <laughs> Bruh, just say hi to him. He was already walking towards it. Scrambling the dink of something to say, you stepped forward, then paused. Wanna break your other arm? Good idea! Let's go! <laughs> I don't like any of these options! Cheer up. Shiloh's gonna like you. He likes everyone. I mean it. But I don't want to see him. I don't know him. I... I would tease him. You're being kind of a baby right now. <laughs> Shiloh poked his head into the living room. All the things was, do you want me to break your other arm? And then a long pause. <laughs> it was impossible to know for sure if he'd heard what you'd been saying or not. But you guessed that he had. Hi. Oh, cute! Hi, Bunny! And hi! Uh, Cove? Cove shot you an uneasy glance. Mmm. Hi. Did he just oi? I'm Shiloh! It's nice to meet you! Yeah. I have a lot of freckles. Wow! Uh, right. I do. Wait, where are you guys going? What, what are you guys doing? We're looking at shells. Can I do it too? Awesome! Can I do it too? 
Cove shrugged, then looked back at your box of beach findings. Wow, Cove, you're kind of an asshole. <laughs> what about that one? The plan for the afternoon, at least as far as you were concerned, was to sit and look at the beach thing some more. You weren't really in the mood to do much of anything else, but I want to play my Nintendo 64! You held out a recent find to Cove, a scallop shell that had washed up on shore. It's a pretty color, kind of like my cast. The beautiful glittering pink did look a little bit like the wrap around his arm. There's no Nintendo 64 in that universe. What the hell? Pink is a nice color! Okay. Oh. Wow! <laughs> is it your favorite? Not really. <laughs> what is? Shiloh is trying so hard! He's trying so hard! Baby! Maybe green? Or blue? Might be yellow. Oh! Those are all cool! I guess. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Cove is an honest kid. <laughs> I'm sure how to deal with the suddenly more awkward silence you look back at your shells. <laughs> Ugh. They are better colors. What about purple? Says you. Yeah, fuck you, Cove. I'm gonna get in a fist fight with you. Like usual, it didn't take long for Shiloh to get fidgety. Aw, baby. Lizzie was his favorite. Without her around, Shiloh didn't seem to know what to do with himself. Aw. And Cove wasn't like your sister. He wasn't that much like you, either. Is Lizzie coming back? Don't know. Where'd she go? Poor Shiloh. I'm I'm standing Shiloh right now. Can I pat the Shiloh, right? <laughs> Forget about Cove. Where where's Shiloh? We're, we're going to Shiloh Town. I think she's at the beach, probably. Is she playing at our park? Cove's eyes lit up at the mention of the park, and he looked towards you. There's a park? I wouldn't there be five head. <laughs> yep, but it's old. Can you show me? I wanna go. He started getting up before you had even answered, and Shiloh jumped up beside him in excitement. Really? You do too, right, Bunny? The park is fun. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's right at the beach, so there's lots of fun stuff to do, and lots of sand. I remember when I was a kid, we ha we had like a bunch of parks near every place I lived because I moved around a lot. I always liked going to the parks. <laughs> I remember I was a loser and I dressed up like Ash Ketchum <laughs> when I was a kid. It has a jungle gym and a bunch of swings. Oh, thank you for the hydrate song. Hello! Thank you for subscribing, Goldie! Elio playing our life, my two favorite things in the world in one stream. I'm so happy. Ah! Yes! I'm so happy to finally play this game. I know I know you and a couple of other people have been wanting me to play this game so much. I'm so happy I can finally play it. <laughs> Whenever I see I love it, I always remember the horse mask meme going, I love it. Has a jungle gym and a bunch of swings. Yeah, so uh, we we're doing the the nervous indifference route <laughs> because I don't know how I feel about Cove. I know how I feel about Shiloh. Precious boy, must protect. It sounds like it could be cool. So, are we going to find Lizzie? Of course. I don't know. I never really wanted to see her. I just want to check the park out. <laughs> I'm like 120% sure you'll absolutely love it. Ooh. I jerked without any directions. Shiloh had finally turned to you. Don't worry, Shiloh. I I, I stand you. We'll, we'll go, go. We'll go find my sister. 
We'll go find Lizzie McGuire. Okay. He perked up. Both boys wanted to go. It was only fair. After getting permission from your moms, the three of you were ready to head out. It was a short walk to the park. Lizzie had convinced your moms that it was so short, she should always be allowed to walk there by herself. <gasps> Who? Why? Why does no one ever supervise these children? They're like eight years old. <laughs> I mean, I guess I was the same way as a kid. I would just walk over to my friend's house or, or walk to the... Okay. Okay, maybe... <laughs> Maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> I see, I see. You'll be able to adjust it between steps as you spend time with Cole. Ooh, okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna look for Pokemon ROM hacks. <laughs> Understandable, to be honest. I was like that back then. Yeah. I liked going to, like, a... We had this river with, like, a... Like, a little bridge when I was, like, in fifth grade. Uh, and I would go over there and catch crawdads. And I would just walk over there. And it's a small neighborhood, and the kids already know where to go and so on. That's true. I was like that as a kid, too. Like, all my friends lived on the same, like, cul-de-sac. And, like, the park wasn't that far away. You could just take, like... It, it was near the school, too, so you could cut through, like... I, I lived near middle school, so I would walk over to the middle school, then, then cut through it to get to the river. Lizzie is 10 or 11, from what I remember. Oh, the protag and Cove are 8 though, yes. Oh, I see. Okay. I haven't seen Lizzie yet. I wonder what she looks like. When you found her, she was hanging on the jungle gym, swinging back and forth. Hey, Lizzie. Her face lit up when she saw you, her big brown eyes going wide. Bunny! Shiloh! Hi! She dropped to the ground and landed with a soft thud in the sand. In a split second, Shiloh had abandoned you two and scrambled over to stand by her. I mean, understandable. Still a little sad. You were used to being left out when it was just the three of you, but now Cove was here. You weren't sure if this was an improvement. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, she's cute. I like the sunflower dress. I don't know, it's got like sunflower seeds on it. That's cute. It's Cove! He's new! Hi! I remember! Hi, Cove! Welcome to my park! Nobody ever comes to play here, so this is where we get together! She gestures widely with her arms as if to present the area to the newcomer. Without interrupting Lizzie's speech, Cove whispered in your ear, quiet enough that the others wouldn't overhear. I thought kids couldn't own places like parks or hills. <laughs> Shut up! I couldn't help but laugh a tiny bit. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking he might remember that. <laughs> While Lizzie continued talking, you took the chance to kick off your shoes and wriggle your toes through the warm sand. Yeah, that sounds like me. Nice, huh? In this neighborhood, I'm the one who comes up with the ideas. You are? Uh -huh. Yeah, I am. Who else could handle the job? Lizzie is the oldest. By a lot. My mom said you're Bunny's age. Yeah. yeah. That's so. I'm still the only one in this group with double digits. Double digits? What about other kids? Other kids? What are those? There aren't any. We're the only kids here and Shiloh is just visiting from another place. Yeah, there's a surprisingly lot of details each character can remember depending on your choices. That's really cool. I like that. Not even tourists really bring their kids here. This is the land of ancients. Be careful that the oldies don't try to steal your youth. This really is me when I was a kid, living in like a town full of old farts. <laughs> but oh god, now I'm nervous because I took the money. Is he gonna find out about the money thing and be like, you befriended me for comic book money? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh. For a second, it looked like he might cry again. But something in his eyes shifted and he looked back at Lizzie. What kind of old people? Like moms and dads or grandparents? Old farts. Grandparents who don't have kids. They hate kids. 
boomers. Why? We haven't done anything. Taking away our money, not doing anything, not doing their work, not doing their taxes. Only some of them don't like kids. Stop saying stuff like that. You're gonna upset them. Yeah, they're really bad. <laughs> yeah. I would hate on adults. <laughs> yeah, all the fights, all the fights. <laughs> Listen, it was like $20. You could buy so much snacks with it. Exactly. I'm not gonna pass up some perfectly good money. You went along with her. Wriggling your fingers menacingly at Kof. <laughs> he sniffled his forehead creases with worry. I'm gonna... I'm absolutely tormenting this child. <laughs> Lizzie was staring Cove down, but Cove wasn't even looking at her anymore. He didn't seem to care that she was there. He went into his own head. Shiloh was the next one to speak, completely unaware of the situation. 20 bucks is 20 bucks for unlimited candy. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Elio is bullying the baby. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Cove. I'm, I'm channeling how I would be if I was a child, okay? <laughs> I met Lizzie and Bunny in school. You see tons of kids there when summer is over. I don't want to go to a new school. I don't want summer to end. I want to play video games all day. Shiloh looked down to the dirt. He hasn't had much luck striking up conversation with Cole. It's okay, Shiloh. It's okay. You're a good boy. You're doing your best. Oh god, in that case, we're gonna have a really chaotic playthrough. <laughs> we really are. Shiloh looks cute. He is cute. I like him. I like him. Shiloh is a precious boy. He is. We stand, Shiloh. Love, Shiloh. I'll be back in an hour. Okay, see you then, dwarf. I like summer vacation a lot, too. He's trying his best. He's really trying his best to get along with Cove, and Cove's just being a gremlin, probably because I bully him, and I probably enable him to be a, a gremlin more, but... <laughs> All the building tension in the air suddenly vanished when Lizzie laughed. Please keep track of any utterly insane things that happen, because I will ask. Alright, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. At Shiloh's discomfort, at how weird she thought Cove was, at something else entirely, you didn't really know, but she laughed, face scrunching up. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Sunset Bird, Cove. Take a seat, put up your feet, and get used to it. <laughs> With the way Elio is loving Shiloh so much, I want to make him play XOXO Droplets. Oh? Oh, are these characters from XOXO Droplets? Because I've, I've heard about that game. I think, I think Lynn played that a, a long time ago. I, I, that's on my list of games to play, too. That is right. For the rest of the summer, Cove is always there. Too bad he has a thing for your sister, lol. <laughs> Damn it. Well, at least I can be friends with him. You saw him more often than Shiloh, and on some days, when she was in a bad mood or busy, you even saw him more than Lizzie. He became a staple of your everyday life. The way sun and lunch and the beach were. Oh, so he's like... He's like my my, my childhood friend Taylor that, that would come over to my house and play video games with me. <laughs> and he would throw... He would throw plastic things with spiders at me because he thought it was funny. <laughs> Shiloh is a love interest in XOXO droplets, yes. <gasps> Adding that to my wish list now. <laughs> That first summer, you hadn't really been interested in him one way or another. He was just kind of a fact of life. Someone you met with because he was there. Of course, that was only the start of things. Ooh, okay. So we got we got a bunch of stuff here. Got a few moments here. Does it matter? Should I should I go in this order? Or does it matter? Haha, <laughs> you know what? If regional prices don't stop me, I'm buying it for you right now. <laughs> Go! <laughs> the order does not matter. Okay, let's see. What one do I want to do? I want to do- I want to do a sandcastle. Cove, 
wasn't able to do many things that summer. When you, him, and Shiloh sat out on the shoreline one bright morning, you could tell he wanted to be in the water. But there's no way he'd be swimming anytime soon, not with his cast. The waves washed a single shell to shore. I was trying to say that three times fast. Glittering in blue, another reminder of the places he couldn't go. And from what you've heard about Cove's old life so far, in tiny pieces and fragments, you could tell he'd do anything to be able to get the cast off. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder how he broke that cast. Will he tell us? Possibilities of what he might get up to made you anxious. He thought about how his summer last year must have been totally different from this. With his old home and his mom and dad. I wonder if he's like, I wonder if he's like my friend that I, I used to know, like, in high school. She would always get broke. Like, she would always hurt herself, and I would always get nervous, because she had, like, a... She had, like, an issue with her blood or something, to where, like, if, if she she bled, she, she, like, couldn't stop it. Like, she would break her bones a lot, but she wouldn't, like, get cuts or anything, if that makes sense. But, like, every time, every time she was like, haha, yeah, I broke my, I broke my leg again, I'd be like, you are literally playing with fire, my friend. Like... You know what happens if you if you get a gash on that leg? Like the blood's not gonna stop. I forgot what exactly her condition was, but it was it was something like if she started bleeding, it it would be like life threatening. Ah yes, how he broke the cast. Ah. You thought about how his summer last year Oh yeah, I already did this. But now he was here with you and Shiloh and Lizzie and everyone else, and he couldn't even go into the sea. This town wasn't bad. It had all your favorite things in it. But sitting there on the same beach you'd grown up on could understand that not everybody else felt the same way about Sunset Bird as you did. I keep wanting to call it Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> you watched him from the corner of your eye quietly, and he finally said aloud what you had been pondering. I wish I could go in. The water? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna be able to do it soon. Cove only sighed in response. Apparently, soon wasn't soon enough. Anemia? Oh, wait. Anima? Maybe. That might be it. Wifey? Oh my god, you guys are wifeys? Let me see. Let me look that up. Anima. Anima, what is this? It's apparently an album. <laughs> or do you mean anemia? Anemia? Like, anemia is like, when you lose blood, you get like, uh... When you lose blood, you like, get really faint and stuff. Like, her thing was like, if she bled, like, it wouldn't stop. Like, like... Like, if you put, if you put, like, a, like, a thing against it, like, a, say, you, you put a band-aid, or, or you put, like, a, like, a, what was it, like, a, a rag or something to try to, try to stop the bleeding. With her condition, if you tried to put that thing to stop the bleeding, it would just soak through it and keep bleeding. When I played P4, I, for some fucking reason, kept calling Inaba Sunset Bird. <laughs> Oh, oh, you mean anemia is basically like iron deficiency, so that's not it. Yeah. Yeah, we're gay, Elliot. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Cove only sighed in response. Apparently soon wasn't soon enough. It's so pretty, the ocean. Mm-hmm. And huge. Could be anything out there. Like mermaids. <gasps> what about flounder? I thought I killed him with my Tamagotchi. Yeah. I wish you didn't have a cast. I don't, I don't care. Swimming might be fun if we we could. Yeah, let's go swimming might be fun. I I would never say that. Oh wait, could it be hemophilia? Let me look that up. Let me look that up. It might be that. Let me see. Hemophilia. What is this? A disorder in which blood doesn't clot normally. Excessive bleeding occurs after an injury or damage. Yep, that was it. That was it. 
that was what she had. She had hemophilia. That sounds exactly like what she had. But yeah, I always would get nervous when she tell me that she like broke her legs because I would be like, you gotta stop. You gotta stop being so adventurous because she was, she was very adventurous. She, she would break her bones a lot from riding her horse and stuff. And she was like one of the fastest runners in class. Like she was very competitive. So I always would get nervous during PE, be like, you know, you're competitive, but don't skin your knee. <laughs> Let's go biology class from four years ago, claiming clutch. Hell yeah, Goldie, you're so slight. <laughs> mm. Obviously not interested in hearing much more of your input on the situation. Cove turned back to the water. But he looked away. Something about Shiloh's slow, careful movements caught his eye. Hey, are you building a sandcastle? Uh, sort of. I was only playing around while you were talking. I'm listening. Uh, Maybe I could too. I've only made big piles before. It's really nothing special. I'm sure you'll be good at it right away. OMG, Elio called me smart. That's because you are smart. <laughs> Well, how'd you do it then? Shiloh's cheeks lit up. You could tell he was a little bit uncomfortable to have Cove's expectant stare on him. Good boy, good boy. I'll play too. I've never really made one before. I love making sand stuff. Yeah, I like I liked making sand castles when I was a kid. Okay, I like making sand mansions. He put his hand back to his seashells and sand and nodded. I can never say seashells, right? <laughs> I don't do a lot. Here's how I like to get a house started. Shiloh, focusing more intently than you'd ever seen him, guided Cove through his process. He happily used your own method. Cove, you better not, you better not break my sand castle. I will never forgive you. <laughs> Elio never calls me smart. <laughs> Zero Yuki! And you can be smart. Very smart about food. You're the food expert, Zero Yuki. <laughs> it didn't take long for the three of you to each have humble structures prepared. That's all, kind of. You can do anything now. Like, make it bigger, add some sea cells, have a pretty pattern. I bet you'll have great ideas. Aren't about to have competition if you keep this up. I am very easy. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make it bigger. Mine is gonna be a real castle. Cool. cool, this is gonna be a house. Looking at the base of your sand castle, you decided to make a mansion. Yeah! <laughs> Looking at the base of your sand castle, you decided to design a mansion. The better part of the next hour was spent focusing on your own work. The boys were the same. Yeah, I am the food expert because I know salad cream are different. Fight me, lab. See, this is why I don't call you smart, Shirayuki, with, with that behavior. I take it back. You're not a food expert. You're an expert of none, master of none. Even Shiloh didn't sneak as many peeks at everyone else as he usually did. You finished shaping before either of them did, lighting up from what you'd built. It seems you got done so fast, because they already searched around for extra decorations. Shiloh had grabbed most of the really interesting stuff, and Cove had a lot of the shells, but there were still options. The first thing you reached for was, uh... A blue sea cell. Ooh, sea glass. Wait, what? What's sea glass? Hold on, I'm gonna look this up. That sounds pretty, but I, I don't know what that is. Sea glass? What is that? Oh, that's pretty. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're you, we're doing the sea glass. It was the best fit for your mansion, you decided. Yeah, it can be like the floor. <laughs> it was see-through and sparkly. So you tucked it away somewhere secure inside, barely poking out to make sure it didn't get lost. 
ingredient wise they're very similar yeah but they do not taste the same simple as i'm gonna fight you shiryuki i will destroy your sand castle i will stomp on your sand castle happily shiryuki pleased with your result you finally took a proper look around that wasn't focused on the sand itself slay i didn't know it was either <laughs> It kind of looks like the, the stuff that goes in, like, uh, fish, fish bowls. And, by the way, did you guys ever... Okay, okay. Can we, can we talk about things when you were a kid that, like, you wanted to eat that, that was not meant for, for consumption? Like, everyone talks about Tide Pods. No, we're not talking about Tide Pods. We're talking about shit like, like, glue? I wanted to eat glue. I wanted to eat fish, the the, the, the colorful fish pebbles that, that go in the fish bowls, you know? Those look so yummy, Elliot. <laughs> I wanted to eat flowers, Elliot. Said, I, you wanted to eat flowers. I ate flowers. <laughs> I actually ate flowers. Like, okay, at my school, we had like these dandelions that like these like weed dandelion flowers that would go in the field and I would sit there and when I would pluck them and I would have this very particular way of eating them. They had like these green seeds inside of the like the flower petals and I would squeeze out the seeds and eat them. <laughs> Uh, I want- I'm checking out Shiloh's sand castle. Shiloh is definitely the best one out of all three of you at building sand castles. I've explained my point easily because if similar ingredients are the same food, then an egg sandwich and cinnamon toast are the same, besides a tiny bit of cinnamon anyways, that wraps this discussion forever. I hate it here. I ate daisies at school. Oh, buttercups. Yeah, daisies are good. I liked eating flowers. <laughs> they taste good. They're nice and sweet. There's also the smallest, but there are so many glittering debris and carved sand shapes all over this entire building that his effort was obvious. Bro, this is exactly what I'm talking about every time your childhood stories come up, I get more concerned. <laughs> are you guys surprised I'm still alive? <laughs> Shiloh's little house even had a tiny garden by the front door and another one in the back, all made out of pebbles and other bits and bobs. I almost ate a used cigarette and swallowed a 50 cent coin when I was five. I, I liked sucking on pennies, actually, song. I, th I think I brought that up before. I thought that might be why Goldie is worried, because I, I have admitted to sucking on pennies before. I, I liked the little tinge to them. The silence was then broken. I ate grass. <laughs> oh yeah, you made the drawing of it. That's right. <laughs> Me sucking on pennies. <laughs> What's on the top of your Shiloh? Oh yeah, Elio, I just remembered the Christmas Minecraft thingy you wanted to do. Song made art of it? What? You did? What? You peeked closer and discovered something shiny sticking out of Shiloh's sand chimney. Oh, it's just a gum wrapper. It looks like smoke. Great. It's good. That's smart. Yeah, I didn't think of that. You should be an architect. Kind of looks more like a worm. Yeah, you should be an architect. You'd be good at it, Shiloh. Shiloh smiled without a word. That tinge is very bad for you, Elio. Just saying, yeah, okay. Don't actually suck on pennies, guys. It's not, it's not healthy. I, I found out that pennies are not good to suck on. <laughs> the taste is not good. Like, you may think it tastes good, but that is your body telling you that you are dying. And like, if you smell gas and you think it smells good, like I did when I was a kid, that is also not good. <laughs> Don't sniff the grass. And that was for the current topic. Bunny, can I see what you did? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Everyone nowadays go touch grass. Me as a kid, I ate grass. I am the grass now. <laughs> sure. So 
All we have to do is touch ID to touch grass. Got it. Yeah, because it's in ID's belly. <laughs> what? I was joking at that part. What? You didn't eat grass? Your ass is grass. Begin surveying your work. All you really know about mansions was that they were supposed to be a... Was that they were supposed to be big, so you'd gone really big. I ate grass, but I'm not grass. You are what you eat, ID. <laughs> it was the size of the country club that Lizzie played golf at. Compared to Cove and Shiloh's buildings, probably even bigger. Shiloh quickly decided to jump in the new conversation. Hey, Bunny, what did you do? I made a mansion. It looks great! Your house is so big! Oh, it makes sense now. I am trash indeed. No, here you are getting angry at me for, for munching on pennies. You out here eating garbage, Goldie? <laughs> it's not a big house, it's a mansion. I guess mansions are just really big houses. <laughs> huh? Is being a house bad? No. But we each made our own place. Nobody is the same. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I think we are. Cole raised an eyebrow at that. That's one way to say I'm ass, Elliot. I, I was saying ID was ass because his ass is grass. <laughs> I eat junk food, Elio. You like the taste of pennies. We are not the same. <laughs> okay, but junk food's good though. Cole raised an eyebrow at that. If something is the only one of that thing, that makes it special. Yeah, for sand castles and stuff. People too. My dad always says how everybody is their own man. A real individual. I don't think I'm very special. <laughs> Shiloh? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You are the most special one around, Shiloh. I stand you. You're the most special boy around. Uh, Why? Why not? Nobody else is you. Also, oh, I almost spelt pennies as penis. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I spelled it wrong in some way. Uh, well, at least you didn't do what Shiryuki did. <laughs> Shiryuki called me a penis muncher when I first shared the penny story because they misspelled penny. Shiloh simply shook his head. I'm not different. A beat passed between the two. Cove then looked down at his own work again. Mm, okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> maybe we should switch to XOXO droplets so Elio can let out all the Shiloh love. <laughs> yeah, now I really want to play XOXO droplets. <laughs> Elio loves sucking on pit. Hey, don't call me out. I am calling you out. On Twitter.com. <laughs> I'm gonna piss on the moon! He didn't seem to be bothered leaving the disagreement hanging there. COVID other things on his mind. Penis muncher, I'm dying. <laughs> My dad tried to get me to make sandcastles the first time we came to this beach. I didn't want to. Cove trailed off. Again, there was another moment of silence. Shiloh shifted and opened his mouth to say something, but Cove spoke up before he could. He didn't think he noticed that Shiloh was going to talk. Hey, do you know what happened when your moms met my dad, Bunny? He paid the money to get along with you? <laughs> he blinked, not expecting the question. He thought hard. I wasn't there. They didn't tell me. I just remember what happened when I met your dad. How I met your mom-thers. Mr. Holder has been a weird stranger then. Well, he was still kind of strange. Not other parents acted like him. But you knew him better at this point. Now that you thought about it, it made a lot of sense that Cove's dad talked to him about people being unique. You were pulled out of your thoughts when Cove continued. Oh, oh well, I was there. I don't think my mom has met your dad. L? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she hasn't. Bunny's parents and my dad met the same day I met him. I'm gonna say what happened. 
Charlo frowned to himself, ducking his head. His hat cast a shadow over his face. He could still tell he was upset at not being included in Cove's choice of topic. Regional price differences, my fucking worst enemy. Ah! Oh! I'm so sorry about that, Goldie! <laughs> I, why, why do they have to have price differences like that? That sucks. I was kind of boring for him, though giving people their own turn to say the things they want is important too. I think Shiloh wants to talk too. <laughs> Me playing a game where you romance Cove. <laughs> Me, uh, go away, Cove. I'm talking to Shiloh. Huh? We were talking, just not right now. I'm talking to you. He can listen. <laughs> Cove is gonna get jealous because I'm just gonna be showing Shiloh in love. Shiloh's expression barely flickered at the words. He still looked put off. <laughs> Look what you did, Cove! Elio, we're doing the thing we talked about. We are doing it, and I am buying it so you can play it at some point. Hell yeah! <laughs> Cove continued like the interruption hadn't happened. He was determined to tell the tale. We moved here. We didn't bring a lot of things with us. Only some stuff that would fit in Dad's car. We didn't even get a moving truck. Interesting story, now let Shiloh talk. I sat in there while Dad brought it all inside. Yeah, fuck regional prices, we are smarter. Built strong. <laughs> Steam family sharers to get access to games built strong. <laughs> I didn't want to get out because I knew Dad would make me look around the new house. I really didn't want to do that. His lips twisted into a frown as he recalled that. So Clove is a bully that didn't know he was a bully. He just doesn't get a lot of social cues, OMG. Yeah, he's like, he, he's an honest kid is the thing. I remember, I remember Song saying that he's an honest kid. So like, if he doesn't like something, he'll say he doesn't like it. And like, he doesn't really mean anything bad by it, but it can still hurt people's feelings. He's just, he's just blunt and he maybe doesn't know that what he's saying is blunt. Like, I, I, I get it. I get him. And I saw your moms. They were in a car too and stopped at your house. I guess they were coming back from somewhere or something. My dad noticed. He waved his hand, then went over to the front of your house where he started talking to them. I don't know what they said. I couldn't hear it. Whoops. Oh. But he couldn't see me anymore since he was looking the other way. So I opened the car door and left. I want to get away and went behind the houses. I found those hills there, the ones where we met for the first time. Mm. Cave. Oh, Co I keep almost calling him Cave. Cove nodded, then stared at you. You stared back. He didn't go on to say anything more. He is. Cha cha jazz hands, autistic coded. Oh, baby. Is that it? Cove's brow wrinkled, like he didn't understand why you were surprised. Huh? Get Cove and Gin from your turn to die to become buddies. That's all that happened. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I don't like these options. Uh, this is the best one. I don't... All of these are so me. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. You're welcome. Even if not much happened, you weren't gonna complain about knowing the story. Shallow's mouth twisted into a scowl of disbelief, but he said nothing. Oh, he wants to talk. Why'd you bring that up anyway? <laughs> there was a slight shrug of Cove's shoulders. Wow. I was thinking about it because of the sandcastle. Made me remember when I moved to here. Dad showed me the beach first before we went back to the car to unpack. I understand. He was really excited about it for some reason. I guess because he really likes the beach. Cold's brows furrowed a little more as he quickly raked his hands through the sand. I get it. You thought maybe Mr. Holden wasn't that excited about the beach and was instead hoping Cove might be... Oh. But the line of conversation had come to its end. Even Cove was done with it. Some other topic had popped into his head. 
Shiloh fidgeted uncomfortably in the sand, has made Kova aware of his presence again. Yeah, let Shiloh talk! They looked at each other and you could only wonder what this might be about. Hey, Shiloh. Yeah? Why are you always turning so red, even when nothing is happening? Let him exist! Clearly startled, he jerked back. Either you or Shiloh had expected that to be how he got included in the conversation again. I, I don't know, I guess. Okay, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I know he doesn't mean to be like that with Shiloh, but my baby. Shiloh's eyes were widened with ex embarrassment and his lips twitched. He was blushing even harder than before. Maybe it wasn't only this. Perhaps it was simply the last straw, but it was a big deal to Shiloh, a huge deal. He didn't just look sad, he seemed almost panicked. Oh, He's so socially unaware, I swear. <laughs> These two kids are... are like, socially unaware and, like, socially adept, and they, and they don't know how to converse with each other. <laughs> you weren't sure if he was about to cry or run away or what, but you soon got an answer. Why do you wear glasses? Most kids don't wear glasses, and nobody is named Cove. Oh no, the kids are fighting. Just your dad bugging Bunny's family some more because you don't have anyone else who will ever play with you. Okay, that's a bit too far, Shiloh. Like, I get it. I get it. That <laughs> wasn't the best, but that's a bit too far, Shiloh. Even for me, the, the number one Shiloh apologist. Um, Cove blinked. Shiloh is angry. The tension on the beach was suddenly uncomfortable in a way you didn't know how to even mention. It didn't seem like the kind of thing he'd be upset about, though you hadn't ever known what kind of thing would bother Shiloh. <sighs> I'm sorry. Me too. I was just wondering... Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Hey, let's build another sandcastle. That sounds like the best. The day is gonna be over soon. Ah, Bunny, you're right. The sun is going down so fast. We all went back to making more sand buildings, but the whole mood had changed. Oh, awkward. I just, can I just go home? Shalu's cheeriness was clearly gone, and Cove looked as confused as ever about why the other boy had blown up. Oh, babies. The air stayed uncomfortable the rest of the afternoon, right up to the moment that Shiloh's mom appeared at the beach to take him home. What does Shiloh's mom look like? At least she tried to do something to resolve it, though, and it seemed like it helped. Even though Shiloh's smile when he said goodbye to Cove wavered, it stayed as bright as ever for you. That had to count for something. Ah, uh, children. This is why I will never have children. <laughs> But with Shiloh gone and the sun going down, you know it was time for you and Cove to head to your own houses. Elio seems interested in Shiloh's mom. I mean, I gotta, I gotta find someone to simp for. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't simping for these children. You followed him as he made his way out of the sand. The walk home was quiet. You passed by familiar landmarks. Shoes thumping against the sidewalk in near perfect unison. Cove was clearly caught up in thinking about something. Yeah, let's 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 ask him. Let's be let's be good. The prospect of asking made you nervous, but you did anyway. Hey, is everything um okay? Oh, oh I was just wondering. Cove fell silent again for a few more seconds, then sighed. Sent for the moms, they're hot. Exactly. I, I do like I do like our mommy. Our mommy is mommy AF. Why'd Shiloh act like that? When I said he was all red a lot. I mean, I get it, but... Um... He was just being a baby? No. 
Shouldn't make fun of him. He gets embarrassed. I, I, I don't want to be accusatory and say you were being rude to him or you shouldn't make fun of him. I think I should say he was embarrassed. Embarrassed? But I didn't say anything that bad. Elio, do not simp for the mother. But she's mommy! Literally! I say while well, simping for both the ghost parents. <laughs> you, you have no position then, Goldie. <laughs> Might have upset him anyway. Mm, I guess I can get it. Why I would do that. Sometimes I get really mad too. Despite seemingly coming to a conclusion, Cove's mood was still sour. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Goldie. Goldie's always hydrating me. I mean, Cove's mom be lip bite? Oh, ayo. When are we gonna see Cove's mom then? She a baddie? Is it a hot girl summer? Only sour, not even sweet. Yeah, he, he, he's a little lemon right now. What Shiloh said didn't make sense anyway. Parents always talk to other parents and set up stuff so their kids play together. Yes, remember everyone, stay wet inside! Goldie. What do you mean by that? <laughs> stay wet inside. My dad didn't do anything weird. <laughs> what? Did I say something incorrect? Stay wet inside. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> you struggle not to make a face at that. His dad definitely did something weird to try and get you to spend time with Cove. Well, he ain't wrong, but ain't right either. <laughs> There ain't something right with them. <laughs> but Cove didn't know that. Nobody's making me spend time with you. I mean, he did give me $20, but oh god, oh god. Your dad does do stuff so you'll hang out with my family, but Shiloh shouldn't have said that. You decided to tell him about how his dad offered you money. Oh, oh no. See, if I was... Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. If I were a kid, I would not admit <laughs> to his dad giving me money. <laughs> I would never. Your dad does do stuff so you hang out with okay. him. Uh. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, drinking healthy liquid is incredibly important for staying wet inside. Humans could die if they're not wet enough. <laughs> Goldie! I'm gonna be a liar. I'm sorry, Cove. If you find out about this, this will be awkward. But please understand, I'm a gremlin. Cove's shoulders relaxed. He hadn't even noticed that he had tensed up. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Anyway, I knew the whole time Shiloh shouldn't have been saying things like that. You nodded, but you didn't speak. You kept your eyes firmly on the ground. By now, the two of you were on the sidewalk near your houses. It was time to part ways. Bye, Cove. Uh, tell your dad to send his next uh, monthly payment of $20 to my house tomorrow. Your parents hadn't planned anything else for you, though you knew that you'd see him eventually. Cove nodded, already turning away. Bye, Bunny. You made your way to your house at a leisurely pace, going up the driveway to get to the front door. Before you went inside, you looked back. Cove was halfway to his house, his hands shoved into his pockets. You still felt a little unsure. With what you were supposed to do about the deal Cove's dad had offered. <laughs> yeah, kind of being an asshole not telling him about that, but... <laughs> Listen, I would not. I would take that shit to my grave. 
like I tell you guys about how I stole money when I was a kid. <laughs> you didn't want to say something bad or something you shouldn't. You might change your mind sometime. There is always tomorrow after all, but for now, it was definitely something that you'd keep for yourself. Elio, yeah, I was that kind of a kid. I was at one of my friends' houses and I saw money. Like, I, I went to go use her, her parents' bathroom and I saw money on the bed. And I took ten dollars and I bought a comic book with it. <laughs> well, you know, well that's fair. I stole two when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I got so scared whenever I spent time with my friend to be like, like they they would be like, oh, did that kid steal money from us? <laughs> the final look, you went inside your house. I remember too when when I did it. I, I was like, hey, I gotta go home now, bye! <laughs> I stole the fucking Littlest Pet Shop twice, I feel so bad now. Yeah, I stole one of my friends' erasers too, because I thought it looked cute. <laughs> oh, we were menaces, weren't we, Goldie? <laughs> that eraser I stole was from the same friend too. I, I even tried to justify myself when I stole from them. I was like, oh, they're rich. <laughs> they won't notice. <laughs> no, what, maybe we shouldn't be confessing our crimes while on a public stream. It's fine. We were like, we were like 10 when we did it, okay? <laughs> Come back before it gets dark, all right, sport? Like we wouldn't, we wouldn't steal that nowadays, right? <laughs> We've learned. Right? <laughs> the familiar voice drifted across the street and drew your attention away from the snail you've been watching inch slowly across the pavement. Speak for yourself, buddy. <laughs> Cole waited in front of his dad, pushing his green hair back off his face from where the breeze was blowing it over his glasses. He looked to be paying only a mild amount of attention as he was being handed a, flu a few slips of green paper. It reminded you of when you'd first met Mr. Holden. Although, he's probably not paying Cove to be friends with himself. <laughs> love yourself, buddy. We practice self-love in this household. <laughs> Cove's dad seemed to feel your gaze somehow. Or maybe you made a noise because a second later, his eyes were on you. He waved you over with a smile. He looked happy to see you, but you still felt a little weird for getting caught. You gotta learn how to be more sneaky. <laughs> he brushed your hands together to feel free them of sand, then jogged over to join the two. How's it going? Good to see you again. What excitement are you up to today, Bunny? Nothing. You towed the pavement in front of you. It'd be nice to tell them about the snail you found, but... You didn't know if they liked snails. Well, if they don't like snails, then fuck them! After you finished answering the question, Mr. Holden's attention returned to Cove, who was preoccupied with folding the bills he had into a tiny rectangle. Sounds fun. It does? I weren't sure about that. You know, Cove was about to hit the shore- the, the stores- the stores- by the beach. Why don't you go with him? You shrugged. Cove was in the process of making a similar motion. <laughs> you didn't have anything else to do, and you hadn't been to the stores in a few days. Maybe there was something new to look at. Maybe. Is that okay? I guess. I was going by myself, but I guess it is. You don't have to. It's, it's not like I want you to go to the stores and hang out with me because I'm lonely or anything, idiot. <laughs> Great. I'm sure you guys will have loads of fun. Mr. Holden reached into his pocket and pulled out a leather wallet filled with money. He found it odd since your mom's only ever seemed to have cards in theirs. Oh. Here. He leaned in to pass a crisp 10 to Cove, giving him a wink and a whisper. We can buy a comic book with that, Cove. We're gonna buy Death Note. 
Get something for your friend, too. I want Death Note. Sure. That's my boy. Cove's dad ruffled his son's hair as he was straightening back up. The bill in his hand still held out towards the green-haired boy. Take care! Cove accepted the bill after a second and slipped it into his pocket. Then with one last nod to his dad, he turned and started walking. He followed after him, intrigued at the possibilities this outing might bring. I want a comic book. Cove strayed towards the gentle tide creeping up the sand and you fell into place beside him. It was a nice day. The sun was shining, the birds are singing. On days like these, children like you should be burning in hell. <laughs> there weren't many clouds in the sky, though the wind coming off the though the wind coming off the ocean kept it from being too hot. He took in a deep breath, enjoying the scent of salt and ocean air. Do they sell sea salt ice cream here? When you looked at Cove, he was dragging his feet through the sand a little, and you slowed down to wait for him. His eyes searched the ground intently. Are you looking for snails? Sno- Are you snooking? Cove looked over at you, wrinkling his nose. Who would want something like that? Me! You felt the urge to defend the activity you've been indulging in only a short while ago. A lot of people. No way, they're weird. You can't take them anywhere because they're bugs. You have to leave them alone. They're cute. Cove chuckled to himself and that ended the discussion. You can think what he wants and you'll think your own things. The comforting sound of the waves filled the silence with pleasant white noise. You played a little game with yourself as you walked along. Getting as close to the water as possible without getting wet, you'll fuck Clove. Doesn't like my snail activity. My snake-tivity. It resulted in you having to run up the sand quickly with a wave rushed in more than a few times. And although Cove threw a few glances your way, he didn't say a word. You didn't either. Fuck you. <laughs> what did you want to go to the shops for? What you usually did? No. No, I'm not talking to you. You, 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 you talked badly about my snails. He seemed altogether too invested in the floor to pay attention. You decided to watch the waves as they inched closer and closer to your feet instead. Oh. Abruptly, Cove stopped, then moved briskly ahead a few steps. What is it? Snails and Shiloh. <laughs> Snilo. Without a word, he bent down, picking something up half buried in the sand. He hurried nearer, curiously glancing over his shoulder. It was a shell, lightly pink at the bottom and bleached white at the top. Ooh, pretty. Wow, so you found what you were looking for? Cove got back up, turning his find over in his hands before unbuttoning one of the many pockets on his pants and sliding it inside. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, he unbuttoned the pockets on his pants. Okay, he, he's got one of those fancy pants. I thought he like... <laughs> and did the button up to his like pants. <laughs> Just like threw it in with his underpants. <laughs> Pick up anything that's kind of cool. This is what I got this time. Snails are cool. Cove frowned and didn't remark on your very valid input. <laughs> so... Ooh, what about you? What do you do out here? Look at snails! You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I don't come to the beach. I like swimming. I like looking at fish. I like to build. I like swimming. I like toitles. Cove's, lib Cove's lips curled up in a small smile. Why can't I read today? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I too carry seashells in my underwear. <laughs> Why, when life gives you lemons, if, if you don't have pockets, what, what are you gonna do? Stuff it in your underpants or stuff it in your bra. <laughs> Cove's lips curled up in a small smile. Me too. It occurred to you that you hadn't been swimming in a while. There was just so much to do before school started up again and so little time. 
Once you reach the shopping area, the noise level grew exponentially. Okay, but I think I think we should stop here for our our lovely outing with Cove for the day. You're too flustered, clearly. I do have to apologize. I truly have such an effect on people. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm so flustered having the celebrity Goldie in my chat. <laughs> Lovely, he says. Yeah, no, this, this terrible time. He, he insulted my activities. He insulted me. He insulted me, my family, everything that I hold dear to myself. Fuck you, Kof. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be it for our life beginnings and always for today. I'm gonna be doing a quick, a quick BRB. Elio is very insulted for all the non empaths in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing a quick BRB, and then we will play some Monster Hunter Rise. And I don't know if what I'm playing lets me do multiplayer, but if anyone owns it on Steam, I think there's multiplayer on that game. But yeah. Are you doing our time today after Monster Hunter, of course? You know what? Let me do that on my BRB. Let me... I, w I was thinking of doing that, but I didn't prepare it in advance. So while I am doing my BRB, while I am eating and stuff, with my other hand, I'll be saving some art. So yeah, Let let's do that. That sounds fun. It's been a while since we've done that. All right. I'm blushing this whole time. <laughs> All right. Let me bring up the BRB. I don't even own it on Steam. Well, that's too bad, ID. Oh, nice. Have a good meal, Elio. Thank you. Let me turn on some music for you guys while I go and do this. Do 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 do. Okay. I'll be right back. See you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 